As nearly half of his country goes under martial law, Ukraine's president is making a stark warning about Russia, accusing it of sending more tanks to its border. Petro Poroshenko says he wants Ukraine to do more to defend itself against the threat of a land invasion. These tanks have not yet been removed from there. They're still there. I don't want anybody to think those are toys. The country is under threat of a full-scale war with the Russian Federation. The goal of this martial law is to show that the enemy will pay a very high price if he decides to attack us. It will be like a cold shower that will stop the madmen who have plans to attack Ukraine. And if there is no further aggression, we will assume that the goal of these actions is achieved. Poroshenko's remarks will do nothing to calm down the tension. Russia is announcing the deployment of more S-400 missile systems in Crimea. And Donald Trump says he may now cancel his meeting with Vladimir Putin that's due at the G20 summit in Buenos Aires this week. With 12 of the 24 captive Ukrainians given two-month detention orders on Tuesday in annexed Crimea, more are now expected to be issued. What's made things more charged is Russia's filming of some of the crew giving what Ukraine says are forced confessions under duress, breaching the Geneva Convention, which should give some protection to prisoners of war. Internationally, the pressure on Russia appears to have no effect on its foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, visiting Paris here on Tuesday. If the Ukrainian side, like its partners in Europe, is interested in avoiding such situations in the future, it is obviously necessary to send a signal to Kiev not to allow such provocations. That is not for us to do, but for those who maintain close contact with the Ukrainian authorities. Mr. Lavrov certainly didn't appear willing to meet his French counterpart's request. I told Sergei Lavrov that a gesture is expected from Russia, that the prisoners and the boats being held must be freed as soon as possible. But I will also call my Ukrainian counterpart to encourage him to seek a de-escalation in this region. And now it's emerged that not all the arrested crew are sailors. Ukraine's state security service, the SBU, says it had counterintelligence officers on board. And it also says two missiles were fired by one of two Russian fighter jets at the boats. And one of those agents was seriously injured. What happens next to the detained Ukrainian servicemen may be unclear. What's certain, though, is that without their release, Ukraine will continue to ramp up pressure for some sort of international action against Russia. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Kiev.